this is the story of Grace O'Malley, also known as Grande Newalia. Grace O'Malley was a powerful leader in Ireland in the 1500s. She is remembered as a pirate queen who fought the English. However, Grace O'Malley was more than that. She controlled part of Western Ireland for decades. Grace O'Malley was born in about 1530. She came from a powerful family that controlled the land and sea around the coast of County Mayo in Ireland. The O'Malley family earned their living mainly from the sea. They were skilled seafarers and pirates and traded with places as far away as Spain. Grace O'Malley was likely taught seafaring by her father. She became a successful sailor. She went decades sailing and raiding ships. O'Malley probably had some formal schooling. She spoke Irish and English, and she may have learned some basic Spanish and French along the way. O'Malley married Donald O'Flaherty, a chief from another powerful family, and they had three children before O'Flaherty was killed in battle. O'Malley became a powerful leader. By 1564, she had many ships and as many as 200 men under her control. O'Malley married Richard Bjork, whose lands were next to the O'Malley's lands. They had one son, Theobald. In 1577, O'Malley was arrested and spent two years in prison. Her crime was not recorded. At this time, Ireland was coming more and more under the control of the English. Many Irish chieftains were giving their power to the English. In 1584, Richard Bingham was appointed the English governor of Conart, a province in western and northwestern Ireland. O'Malley was friendly with him at first, but they eventually came into conflict with one another. Bingham accused O'Malley of treason and of starting rebellions against the English. He also arrested O'Malley's brother and her son Theobald. The arrest of O'Malley's family members caused her to write to Queen Elizabeth I to ask her for help. In 1593, O'Malley sailed to London to personally ask the Queen for her assistance. As a result of their meeting, Elizabeth ordered the release of O'Malley's family members. She also ordered that O'Malley receive some income for her dead husband's lands. Except for the conflicts with Bingham, most evidence shows that O'Malley cooperated with the English in Ireland. By the end of the 1500s, her son Theobald was the greatest landowner in County Mayo. O'Malley probably died sometime between 1600 and 1610.